What's up everyone, you might have heard of Microsoft Editor. The new app slash add-on is a new grammar checking tool. Well, you also know Grammarly. In this video, we are going to compare both and see which one is better. We will conduct two tests with the same text which I used to compare Grammarly and Microsoft Word. On the left hand side, we have Microsoft Editor, while on the right, Grammarly. You can see that only one extension is working on each. The Grammarly we will be using is free, not premium. Both offer the premium versions with extended features though. On the right, Grammarly suggests fixing 4 mistakes, whereas Microsoft Editor displays 3. I can see that there are about 8 mistakes in the text. Well, you can already see that Grammarly has found more mistakes than Microsoft Editor. Let's fix the errors which both could not find just to be on the safe side. After the word YouTuber, a comma is required, while we also need another comma and some spell fixes. Let's skip through this. One issue with Grammarly is, if we have two errors in the same sentence, sometimes Grammarly won't show both until you do not fix the first mistake. In our case, the O of ON was not capital, so it was not suggesting the comma after the word YouTube. In the first test, there were not any unique mistakes which Microsoft Editor could solve while Grammarly could not. So we will make Grammarly the winner. Let's move to the second round. This is the text we will be comparing in the second round. There are a few mistakes and hopefully this time both will perform equally good. Here are the results and again Grammarly is showing more mistakes than Microsoft Editor. Microsoft Editor is suggesting to fix 4 errors whereas Grammarly 7. The first error is the missing article before the word key. One thing Microsoft Editor must improve is when you type something, all the mistakes disappear and you need to wait until it rechecks. Another issue similar to this issue is it does not work at all especially when you start browsing. It takes some time. On my website, if I save this blog post, it won't show the mistakes at all. So I won't save this now, but in the end, we will test and see if it works or not. Anyway, let's fix the other mistakes. Both tools work at their best while checking the spelling mistakes. Grammarly confuses when it comes to proper nouns while Microsoft Editor is like Microsoft Word with slightly better error checking algorithm. Of course, there is the premium version which can do a lot more than the free. So should you switch to Microsoft Editor? Well, I believe for now, it's not a good choice. Grammarly is experienced and better than Microsoft Editor. Microsoft Editor is new and needs polishing. Until Microsoft is not able to give more features and good tools, Grammarly is the tool you should use. Anyway, before we go, let's check if Microsoft Editor works after saving this article. Let's make a mistake and save the post. Okay, as you can see that it's not working anymore. So yep, that's all the truth. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please let me know which one are you going to use in the comments down below and like and subscribe for more tech videos. Thank you.